Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on the video. So from here, obviously we had give cards to friends glitches in the game. Uh, this is on next gen at the moment guys and we technically don't need give cards to friends glitch anymore. Um, we still will use them to get vehicles for free from our, from our friends. Um, but you can actually buy vehicles from your friends on next gen. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. But a quick word from today's sponsor. Yo, what's up guys? Are you guys looking for money and RP services in GTA Online? Check out this site guys, they're absolutely insane. Aurora Resupply, link is in the description. You can even grab yourself a modded account. Check it out guys, let's get it. So the first thing you need to do is, when you're on the next gen, you will meet um, Hal, I think his name's Hal. Um, he owns the new workshop in the LS car meet. And what you will need to do is you will need to complete his first time trial. Um, which you can obviously do when you first load on. Once you do that, you will unlock the ability to purchase a friend's car. And a shout out to uh, one of my guys, Resolve Wolf, uh, part of the Street Ghost community. Um, he's let me buy his car. Um, and as you see, it's 2.4 million. And it's got F1s on. It's got a Yankton plate on. And guys, I'm not kidding. When you purchase it, you literally keep everything. Even if you have a Yankton plate, it will give you a clean generic plate on top of that Yankton plate. Boom, F1 wheels. So whatever, you know, this is going to be good because people that are, have got a lot of money like myself, we, you know, this gives us a reason to spend money now. We can buy our friends modded cars, special cars. The only thing I believe you can't buy is weaponized cars, weaponized vehicles. That is what I believe. I believe you can't buy those. But any normal vehicles in the game, you can buy it. And as you saw there, I purchased it. So I'm going to skip ahead and call the mechanic and let's have a look. Boom, there we go. So there is my car and there is Resolve Wolves. So I know it was a lot of money, but it saves the hard work if you have the money. And yeah, I'll show you in just a second, guys. We still will have that Yankton plate on our car. But it's not got the actual writing of what he put on the plate. It's actually a brand new plate. So it's a clean plate with a Yankton plate. It's pretty insane. Um, I'm not sure if this is now a thing for old gen consoles. Um, maybe some of you guys can test it. But then again, you do not have Hal's workshop to basically customize for the next gen. But yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing to be honest. I'm, I'm glad they've done something like this. You know, you can actually buy your friends' cars. Now, people are more or less going to use this for modded cars and, and stuff like that. So it's, it's basically Rockstar trying to stop gives cars to friends glitches, which it won't work because a lot of people don't have a lot of money in GTA and they are going to use give cars to friends glitches to get cars for free. The only thing with this, you have to buy the car. So they're not really helping themselves that much. But thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.